a big ancient fortress. My friends, I am currently in a watchtower overlooking the city of Balk where you buy and sell the cotton. And there are more women here. Arabia Balki Mausoleum. Haji Piada Mosque, the oldest mosque in Afghanistan. I think Afghani ice cream is one of the best thing you can find here in Afghanistan. Good morning, my followers. I'm having breakfast. Thanks for what up. So. You don't know what we get. Yeah. This is good breakfast. And it's this good is, breakfast. This is not just breakfast. This because is it has the cheese. Breakfast. And the cheese is from Tehran, as you can see. And oh, breast milk. And milk, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so today I'm still in Masar Sari. And we plan to go to Bok today. And let's see how it goes. Okay. Hi, now we are on a shared taxi. We are going to Bok. For Masar Sharif, it will take about maybe 30 minutes. It's 20 kilometers to the west. It's an ancient city. Since like even it's in the Puranic, in the Buddhist mythology as well. It's everywhere. And if you know Alexander the Great, his wife Roxanne is from Bok. Oh, by the way, I found a local here. What's your name, brother? My name is Ahmad. Ahmad. So Ahmad, can you tell me a little bit more about Bok? Now we are full house or full car. Come on, car. Like two at the front, four at the middle, us, and there are like three more at the back. So this is a junction, if you want to go to the city, you turn there and get into that one. But here I want to show you something, it's a fortress. So it's a small fortress right in front of me. As you can see, it's that one, we want to check, maybe we can climb up there and see Balk from afar. Hopefully from here we can see the ancient city of Balk. It's a big ancient fortress, small one but big. So we are allowed to get in and to see from the top, hopefully we can see the city of Balk, the famous city of Balk from the top. And it's a very, very beautiful place and it's very historical. Wow, nice right? And you can see it's going up. It's pretty tall, maybe almost 40 meters, 50 meters tall I guess. And my Chinese friends, yeah, we should be able to see the city of Wow, that's Balk. That's the city walls of Balk. We will go there and enter modern city and an ancient city even further there. And it's the view from the top. All the way around. Woo! Nice. Wow. My friends, I am currently in a watchtower overlooking the city of Balk. That's the ancient city of Balk. You can see the walls, protective walls. And there, the city, a modern city. But behind that, if you can see, it's actually the more ancient city of Balk, more than 2,000 years old. So let's take a closer look with Zoom and later we go there. So let's go to the city of Balk and enter. And this is the wall of Balk and now we are gonna enter the gate follow me for a second and the wall actually circles all the way there and this is the gate we don't have any, the gate anymore now I'm entering the city of Balk not through the gate which is already broken so I'm gonna climb the wall of 
the city of Balk. You can still see some of the bricks. Let's go there. And now we are on the wall. And on my right side to the north is Balk. But it's already very modern. And so let's try to climb this part of the wall. Guys, I'm already on the wall of Bach. And sorry for the hair, but anyway. So we were there on that watchtower. And now as you can see here, this is the wall of the Bach city. So let's walk there. How is it guys? What do you think about the wall of Balk? Very beautiful as you can see and I'm walking there to the bastion and as you can see it's actually an octagonal wall we go there to the bastion over there and it's like making an angle towards that side and so on circling the city of Balk but I think only the southern part is still uh, very much preserved the other parts are quite missing let's see the front see I know you can see some goats I guess over there resting by the wall of Bach and donkey there see let's take a look So it's like a chamber between the walls, but it's blocked. Nothing here. So let's head back. Oh, it looks like a prison. I want to climb there, but I think it's not possible. So let's circle back to there. Okay, I circled the bastion. This is the bastion. Probably there used to be some writings here. It's gone. And it's the building. This is it. The wall of Bach. So, that's the city wall. And We'll continue to the Bach city center and look at the mausoleum, the tombs, and the ancient city. Hi, donkey. See, donkey. Donkey, you know, honey, honey. Dogs and goats. And you see chambers also on the wall. Okay. Let's head down and go. The new photographer in town. See from the top, you can see the glass house. It's for strawberries. We're walking through the settlement. Look, little children filling up the water gallons. This is actually where you buy and sell the cottons.
Now we are entering the city center. So that was the bazaar just now. And there are more women here, even though most of them were burkas. And as you can see, even the women are actually selling clothes. So they are working. the circle in the middle of Bob. So in the central park, you have this amazing mosque at the center and a lot of tombs here. And the mosque from the Timurid era. This one here is Wabia Balki Shrine, Agakhan Trust and German Federal Foreign Office has renovated this place. And this is the tomb of Wabia Balki. This Wabia Balki mausoleum. Let's check how it looks like from the outside at least. It's still very original from Timurid era, you can see from the blue tiles. And Rabia Balki is a famous Persian poet and the first women poet of known. And now it's mosque as you can see, the mirab is inside. Okay, maybe not so clear. This is it. This is the mosque from behind. Better lighting, that's the dome. Just a little bit of correction. So this one is Koja Parsa mausoleum, which is inside. It's like the spiritual leader of Naxpandi. But who knows? And Mabia Balki is the one that we visited earlier. It's that one, the mausoleum of the Persian women poet. And here in the middle of the park, there is something that looks like an ancient stupa. Well, just for your information, Balk used to be a Buddhist city. It was a Buddhist stronghold until the Muslim conquest. And it still resisted like for a few hundred years. A lot of Buddhists here. But I'm not, I don't think it's a Buddhist exactly because here we can see some Arabic words. But at least the top might be. Who knows? See how the people enjoy the day at the park. And now, we are going to the ancient city of Balkh, the ruins, which is actually a bit further to the north by a few kilometers. And you won't believe it, there is a tourist, another tourist here in town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there are two more actually. So we are already out of the center. Yeah, there you can see the ruins already at the end of the road. When foreigners gather, people gather. Even though now it's called prayer, the mosque is that side. Now people are following us, no, at least some of them. And now we move fast. The ruin is there. And now we are at the more ancient part of Balkh. This is like the ancient of the ancient city. So the ancient city is there at the back, centered in the mausoleum just now. But here, it's just an archaeological site and perhaps a base also, I don't know. But you see. Yeah, it's really big. And it's the old and even older one, older walls, I guess. Woo. 
my friends so this is the remains of bulk maybe even from the buddhist century maybe fifth sixth century until it was conquered by the muslims in the seventh century by the arabs i mean and now wow probably this is the palace i guess usually it's on top of a bigger hill yep let's go there and take a look of the old old city city wall it makes a circle yep yep just let's go we are now heading towards that newer buildings over there with the red flags and we suspect it might be Zoroastrian temple but who knows so let's check it out this is part of the wall you can see a bit concave and that one will go there later it looks like holy tombs holy sites maybe so it's a holy tomb Hi, hi friends. Hi, how are you? Uh, we are good, thank you. <laughs> and do you know whose tomb is this? Oh, the offering. You know whose tomb? Who's buried here? Do you know? No? No, it's Bangri. 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 Interesting place. Yes. So, this is it. Bach. From here, you can see how wide and big and large is the ancient city of Bach. And you still can see some of the walls standing like 20 meters high from the city, which is this one. But if you look here, it might actually be like 30 meters down a stronghold and here you can see the ancient settlements this one is of course new but behind them take a look see that one? amazing yep so that's it guys this bulk and We'll find a way to go back. We are back at the roundabout, the highway, Masar Sharif. You turn left to the east, but now we are going to the mosque of Nine Kupola. This is like one of the earliest mosques in Afghanistan from the end of 7th century. So let's see whether it's true or not. Hi, right, so we are on a track. This is our first hitchhike in Afghanistan. We are going to Haji Pijada, which is the mosque of Nine Kupola. It is the oldest Islamic structure in Afghanistan from the year of carbon dated to 694. So let's see, it's just one kilometer ahead. So it's here. No, gone bad. Haji Pijada Mosque. The oldest mosque in Afghanistan, carbon dated to 694 AD. It's very early, like within 50 years of the Hijra. This is it, guys. Haji Piada. 16th century. The ice cream, Syria. Woo. Nice one. So the Syria ice cream was nice, and now we are going back to Masari Sharif. 
And you're looking for transport, maybe this kind of tuk-tuk or maybe share taxi, I don't know, let's see. We are taking a big shot, 50 each, it's okay, so we are going fast. So I'm back at the hotel and now it's dinner time. Actually on the first floor we have this one. Uh, let's see. So uh, I heard from my friend actually this is actually a Saudi Arabia chain but I don't know. Maybe they just use the logo. Because if you look at the food here, like it's uh, varies from 300 Afghani, 150, 160. See this one it says Kentucky Fried Chicken so I'm not sure. And there are ice cream also, we might try that, Italian. Who knows? Let's see the result. And this is the burger. Wow. Pretty oh, dark, eh? Nice. Mm -hmm. And cola. Is it like Medina? Hi, so the burger was nice. I think you will like it. It's cheap. And now to finish the day, we end it with a good dessert, Syriac. I think Afghani ice cream is one of the best thing you can find here in Afghanistan. Ikuti terus Bang Jago, sampai jumpa.